It's an ugly struggle. Israeli soldiers with weapons and body armor against Palestinians robbed of their land. Activists from Israel and other countries lend their support to the Palestinians. Their protests, too, are met with brutal force. Proof that the soldiers were firing on the protesters. An open bullet wound in this man's leg. He's clearly in agony, but the worst is yet to come. A child, a nine-year-old boy, has been hit. The panic and distress is tangible. He's loaded into the ambulance, his life hanging by a thread. By the time the ambulance reaches the hospital, little Hamad Musa is dead, an innocent victim of the struggle over the barrier, and not the first child to be killed. So many questions for the army. Who fired and why? How is it that a nine-year-old boy, so very alive earlier in the day, is now lying dead in the hospital morgue? The army says it will carry out a careful and thorough investigation. These people are waiting for answers. The village of Na'alin has become the latest focus for protests against the barrier. Like many other villages in the West Bank, its lands are being seized by Israel. Bulldozers make the first gashes into this olive grove. They will be followed by razor wire and an electric fence. Until that happens, the villagers will fight on and pray that they don't lose more children as well as their land. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, in the West Bank.